G'day guys, thanks for watching. We're in the uh, back shed today and uh, I've got to mow my lawn and I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get an old mower out that I haven't used for so long just to see how it goes. I drained the fuel out of it, I don't know, probably a year ago and I just haven't had a, a chance to, to use it. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get it out today because I used to love this mower but I just haven't used it because I've been using other things. So let's have a look at it and let's just see how it goes after sitting for like a year. Okay, so there it is. This is the old Mazport 660. This thing's a 26 inch cut. And like I said, it has been sitting for about a year. Uh, and I just got busy with other mowers and stuff. So I thought I'd crack it out again today and give it a run. So I just checked it then on a, a few blades of grass and I spun the reel backwards, uh, sorry, forwards. And uh, it's actually cutting pretty good. So I'm just gonna put fuel in it and fire it up. So I did store it, like I said, I ran the motor. So I, I emptied it out of fuel. I'll show you here. Oh, you can't see. Anyway, it's bone dry. Bone dry in there and it's clean, which is good. It's not rusty or anything. And then I ran the motor until it just died and then I put it away. So I'm gonna fill it up, give it a pull and uh, give it a mow and see how, how it looks. So there's the grass at the moment. It's pretty fluffy and long. So let's have a look what it looks like after the mow. This is very difficult with one hand. There we go. classic example of these mass ports and how they actually um, fail so people talk about clutch issues on these all the time now the clutch issue is predominantly uh, it's a centrifugal clutch on there and it does uh, have dramas so when it does fail in my experience every time it's failed for me it just I don't know if the springs just weaken or something like that but it just always seems to be engaged even at low rpm which is fine because it's not stopping the machine from being used it's just stopping it from the blades stopping so when you pull the catcher off you got to be careful but what i usually do is i just turn that off um so that's that's a common fault that i wanted to go over with the uh the clutch failing and what happens when it does fail so it doesn't fail so you can't use the machine it fails so the blades continue to run at all times now this machine has been sitting for like i said a year the cut's pretty good, hey, like, it could probably do it with a backlap or a sharpen, really. As you can see there, it's actually a really nice cut, okay? Um, now, I'll show you the clippings. So that's two passes, it's almost full. Now, this is a big mower, remember, so this catcher is pretty well almost full. And there you go, like, fluffy beautiful cut and like I said this mower is quite quite old this isn't a new a new mower but it just it's it was my workhorse for years it served me really well and I kind of think that the Mazports do get a bit of a bad rap and I've always just loved them um, so anyway I'm gonna continue mowing let's see how, how it goes for the whole yard
Okay, so that's done now. Um, don't forget, that's been a year or more since I've started that up, and it started first pull. That's the beautiful Hondas that we um, that's on it. Um, and yeah, I mean, I didn't adjust it. I mean, it was adjusted before I put it away, but it's just they're just good. Like I've I've had nothing but pleasure with this thing. Like I've identified a few issues now with the uh, the clutch and all that sort of stuff. But you know what? Like I'll just go and fix that. So. It's probably about a 15, 20 minute job for me to do. It's an 80 or 90 dollar part from memory. Um, I mean, to put in perspective, if you buy a Scott Bonner and you need to do a clutch cone, they're 95 bucks. So, I mean, for me, it's a maintenance thing. You, uh, uh, the centrifugal clutch, uh, 80 or 90 bucks or whatever it is, as a maintenance issue, well, yeah, I reckon just change them out whenever they play up. And you just unbolt the engine and put a new one on. It's really not that big a deal, but, um, Look, I'm going to actually give this thing a bit of a birthday, I think, because it is such a good mower, and eventually I'm going to probably have to sell it because I don't use it. So, I mean, keep your eyes peeled. Maybe down the track I'll look at selling this. So if, you, if you've always wanted a 26-inch Mazport, just uh, click me a message and we'll see what we can do. Um, so, yeah, but anyway, I might uh, do a video on how to change the uh, clutch on it as well, just so you know how easy of a job it is. And, uh, yeah, happy mowing. So... Thanks again, guys, for watching. Um, in the coming weeks, I've got other things happening as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that stuff too. So, anyway, have fun. I'll chat to you in, in the next one.